going to talk about one small short and interesting topic which is related to your clinics that is tear side investigation in dentistry tear side investigation are simple require inexpensive equipments and rapidly doing procedures nowadays they do not require any specialized training but it is easily and conveniently carried out in your clinics as well as in the dental office now the question arises that why chair side investigation plays important role in dentistry yes chair side investigation plays a very important role in dentistry because it helps in the establishment of the diagnosis of general medical and surgical problems along with the principles of treatment including drug prescriptions chair side investigation plays a very important role in the diagnosis and the management of complex disorders of the mouth and the jaw therefore today i'm going to talk about the classification of chair side investigation in dentistry begin with the heart tissue investigation which involves the first part that is the pulp vitality test this is further divided into four types thermal test cold test heat test and electrical pulp testing the other test include like surface temperature test pulp oximetry test cavity photoplethymography selective anesthesia laser droplet flow metry caries detection test mobility test test to detect the cracked tooth plaque disclosing agent and so on begin with the test for the investigation for the vascular lesions that include only one test and that is dyscopy begin begin with the third part in this classification which include test for the precancerous lesions and the condition that include vital stain the first one is the toluidine blue stain second is the lugol solution third rose bengal and fourth is methylene blue already a video is there on my channel regarding the cancer detection test in oral medicine i can put a link in my description so you can check it from there because these detection test regarding the precancerous lesions and the conditions found to be very important question for your theory exam definitely a five marks question may come in your theory exam so that's why i described all the vital staining in detail in that particular video begin with the light based system include two part one is the chemiluminescence and second is the tissue fluorescence system begin with the third part that is the cytological techniques that include oral brush biopsy exfoliative cytology and the third one is fnac that is fine needle aspiration cytology the next category in the investigation is histological technique that include further three parts like incisional biopsy punch biopsy and excisional biopsy next test is very important test that is the test regarding maxillary sinus and that test is trans illumination test this test is very important for your theory exam as well as for your viva in case of oral surgery subject which you read in your fourth year this test is very very important because teacher may ask the question in your viva or even a question may come in your theory exam as well so it's important that you read this test in detail now the next part is the investigation for the saliva and taste evaluation 
that include the first part is the collection of saliva. The include three methods. First one is the draining technique, second spitting technique and third is the suction method. There are few collectors for different glands like parotid gland, submandibular gland or minor salivary gland. Begin with the investigation for allergy. We have two tests. One is the patch test. Second is the skin prick test. Again, next investigation is the investigation for xerostomia. That include two tests. First is the tongue blade test and second is the lipstick test. Another test for oral melodor that include electronic nose, gas chromatography, BANA test. Last method is organoleptic method in case of test for oral melodor. Next is the test for the diagnosis of neuromuscular disorder. Basically that include the nerve blocking, diagnosis of nerve blocking. Test for uh, taste disorder that include sip and spit method. Last part of this classification include the miscellaneous test. That is further divided into two parts. One is the test for trauma from occlusion and second one is the test regarding the blood glucose. So that's all regarding the Chair side investigation in dentistry, whole classification is there along. I told you certain tests which are very important for your theory exam as well as for your viva. Do share more and more my videos and if you are new on my channel, do subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for watching.